What's up guys, it's Andrew from Brit Breaks. How are we all doing? I had a few questions asked about f jerseys and framing. Um, so today we're gonna do one. We're gonna do a DIY jersey framing video. Enjoy. All right, so first thing first, you need a frame and you need your jersey. So today we're using a Saquon Barkley jersey. As you'll see here. Um, so I won this, if you haven't seen already, in one of my previous videos. I won it from a breaker in the US on a random. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Um, anyone that kind of put some entries into their breaks got an entry and I won it. I think it was around Thanksgiving time. If you want to check that video, scroll back through my videos. But yeah, let's get into this. First thing you need to do, make sure your jersey's ironed, free of any kind of debris, hair, mess. Uh, you don't want that in your frame. Make sure your jersey is authenticated. Um, you don't have to, but obviously, if you want a genuine one, uh, make sure you have the certificate to go with it. In terms of COAs for jerseys, you're looking at people like uh, Fanatics, Beckett, PSA, it's kind of the big guys. Um, some of the other ones, a little less trusty, kind of stick to those kind of main three. But anyways, let's get into this. So if I move this back out the way, you'll see we get a nice little to-do guide, how we frame it. We get the back of frame and some pins, and then there's the front for you, just the clear black frame. Uh, this is a lot easier to do with UK football, soccer. Um, the jerseys here are obviously a lot thicker. So instead of, as recommended by the pictures, of putting it all over the back of this, what I'm gonna do is thread it through. It just reduces the amount of weight you have on the back. As you'll find, you'll see later, the back of the frame is pretty tight. So if we feed this through, probably fast forward this for you guys. So as you can see, there we go guys. There's just a rough idea of what it'll look like. I'll drop the description and the link in the description of where to buy this frame. Um, but yeah, that's how this should look. So you want it nice and centered. I think we've done a fairly good job there. See the edge of the nameplate runs either side perfectly. And then we're an equidistant from the top and the bottom. Good centering as we want on our cards. Okay, so the next task is to use these pins. If you see here, the pins are under here. And that will help us just make sure it stays in place. So I'll probably fast forward again while I do this.
All right, guys, so there we go, nice and centered. Um, so the next step is flipping this over and getting into the frame. Uh, different people like to do different things with a certificate. For me, I'm gonna put it front and center. I'm gonna put it over here. And then we're gonna put the Saquon Rookie Select card, uh, which I think is a cool card as you see here. It's the silver prism. And it's his draft selection, round one, pick two. And it is indeed from his draft year, 2018. So I believe we'll put that nice and centered there in the middle. See how that looks on the camera. Looks pretty good. So let's flip this round and then we'll start putting this into the frame. Take it out of the uh, sleeve as well, just for that full shine effect. This is where the pins comes in useful. Line that up there at the bottom. There we go. So this is where it's tougher than a football jersey. See, there's a lot of excess jersey. This is an extra large. Um, so we do have to be quite clever in how we fill this. Okay, so it looks messy now, but hopefully we can press this into place. Just remembering which way around we put it. Just checking our uh, card is in the middle here. Pretty happy with that. So here's our first attempt. Next task is to get this on. Didn't mention this earlier, but there is clips around the edge of the frame, uh, which will be what I'm pushing in now. So most likely fast forward again. Uh, these shirts are super thick, but we're in. Don't forget this is against the wall. So let's flip it over and see how it looks. And I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so we've got the select pick at the bottom there, nice and centered, and a certificate in the corner. Let me kind of take this off and do it by hand. So that looks off slightly. Um, tip to the left. So I may recenter this, but that's, there we go, there, guys. That's, let's give this a trial number two. So it is off center slightly tipping to the left. Um, this is our first attempt. We'll take a few attempts. Um, this is why you pay framers a bit more money. <laughs> it's not the simplest process. 
Uh, but let's try again and I'll show you version 2. And boom, second attempt, we're done. Happy with this. Um, probably put this on the wrong side second time round, but uh, still looks pretty good. I'm really happy with that. I mean, for a DIY job, uh, excuse the funky socks. Um, pretty happy with this. I think this frame cost me $25, so DIY yourself. Probably worth double as much in a frame as it is raw in a bag. Um, with the select card, that's a nice addition. Still see the Beckett number right above it, that's quite neat. Slightly off the middle. Um, but I'm happy with that, I really like that. Uh, deciding whether I'll keep it or move it on for more card fun, we'll see. But yeah, that's it from this one. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. That is how you do a DIY jersey framing. See ya.